Hello, welcome back to this hobby of ours. My name is Dee, and in today's video, a bit of watch news. Uh, what was I wearing? Good old golf watch, the Squale 1545 and the Alpine Green on a Isoprain 20 millimeter strap. Uh, it's got 21 millimeter lugs, but if I squint, that I can't see the strap gap on the the lug. I just I wish Isoprain made a 21 millimeter. I'm probably going to wear it at least on one golfing trip on that strap. So what have we got today? You know, I love me some watch books and G-Shock Casio. This is a, this was a giveaway uh, that they did. And look at all those delicious reference numbers and photos. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, it's a little bit stale, 2015, but it's got everything from 83, 1983, all the way up to 2015. And if you didn't pick one of these up back in the day... Clearly you've never been to Singapore. Because they only released this in Singapore and it was done as a giveaway. You can't buy it. There's no is bin uh, to this. So why am I bringing this up? I think this maybe cost me, I don't know, 40, anywhere from 45 to 60 bucks off of eBay. This is in English. Not that it matters. You can get the Japan edition. You just won't be able to read the kanji. But you can see the numbers and the photos. And that's really all you need from it. However, I discovered a, a way to get this for free as a PDF. Scribd, or scribed, it's, it's probably scribed, right? That makes more sense. It is an online service, a subscription base. You pay, I think it's $8.99 a month or something like that. And you can read and download all these PDF books. I haven't done a whole lot of searching through it. To be honest, I searched for this as a PDF online because... I wanted to get a copy of it to one of my new watch buddies. Um, if he's watching this, you know who you are. And I couldn't find it, so I found that link to that PDF. I went to Scribd, Scribd, and you can join for free for the first 30 days. And I did it to download it as a PDF so I could share it with a friend. And I'm okay with that. What I was going to do is I was gonna buy one of these, cut the binding off and scan it myself. And the reason I'm okay with that is this was not for sale. This was a free giveaway. And, you know, if people could buy it, they would buy it. But it's just not available. Uh, but now I don't have to do that. I have it as a PDF. I don't know what else I'm going to find on Scribd that may be of use. Maybe some cool stuff. Maybe not. We'll see. Found some interesting Rolex-looking uh, PDF uh, auction catalogs. Also another kind of document that isn't available for sale generally. Uh, I do like having these in physical book format because I just enjoy looking through them that way. I don't really consume book content uh, via PDF or on my uh, laptop or iPad or whatever. But it's because, uh, you know, <laughs> the eyes are getting a little bit worse as I get longer in the tooth. Anywho, a bit of watch news, a bit of a watch book, and figured I'd share it with you. Do me a favor. If you're enjoying the content, uh, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. I find that to be the most motivating feedback measure. And drop me a comment. I try to reply to everyone who gives a comment. My logic being that if you've taken the time to write me, I'm going to take the time to write you back. And uh, you're going to notice at the end of the videos, I'm starting to put up slides of our trusted suppliers. As we're getting bigger, as the hobby is expanding companies are coming along for the ride in uh, the form of giving us a discount on their products which I think is pretty rad so anytime you see a supplier listed on that trusted supplier uh, tag at the end you know there's someone that I buy from regularly and I'm just passing it on to you All right, I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll catch you in the next one take care peace